Yes, guys, this is it here. Bowl and Frank cassava, curry duck, curry paneer in coconut milk, and veggie oil down in yellow bread. Hi, right, guys, stay tuned for the full recipe. Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Trini Out and About. Today edition we are doing, I remember you saw it in the video before we post. We tell you all the menus we gonna call you all the menus you gonna cook for the weekend here. So we doing it. Outdoor, fire sign, chula sign. Some a lot of you already requested this, so we're doing it for you, right? So we will show you everything. Start we ain't do nothing, we just clean up all the meat, cut up all the veggies, everything. Once you the whole season process for everything. Right, so you have a little outdoor table, we outdoor umbrella, right? We outdoor fireside, right? So stay tuned for that. We're going to start just now. Look, Nusha. <laughs> Look, Nusha, Nene, Katie, Mama, and Ellie, and Randon, and myself. I'm okay. Right? So we're going to I'm okay. I'm tell you, we're going to knock up a real pot this weekend. Right, guys? Right, guys. So we're back here. I'll show you everything we have, right? Very cover so we pot. There are some tomatoes cut up here. There are some pimentos, some onions. Nice yellow bread food. This bread food we got from um, Anthony Baksh and his wife, Sarah. There are some dashing bush cut up and olives. I'll show you the olives I use. There are some paneer here. There's the paneer, there's the cheese. The kind of the vegetarian cheese thing with this curry on it. All the seasoning. One whole duck. A real nice duck. Then we got, we got this at Master Duck Farm, this duck. Very big duck. Randall make a big bowl of chow, everything done, watch. Right? Let's screw lick it out fast, fast. Drink any sauce in a cup. Right? So this is the far side here, guys. We build this in about half an hour or less. Right, so I bring up four pallets from home. Bring up the four pallets from home. We um, I cut this room home yesterday. This is our room we had up here. We went for some beach stone on any beach at, at the beach here to just pick up some stone there. Right? And four pallets, stack it. We block around with some aluminum. All any little old thing we had all L thing we block around right around. We fill it up with some sand, fill it with gravel, and then we put the stone on top of it. When I cut up some coconut root and then we had there, old coconut root. Well we had the chainsaw of course. So the pallets guys, we had it we store any wood under here, the pallets are dry. So next time we cook it again, the woods are dry. So the pallet not wasted, no way, no soil. The size of the story wood, we have everything, guys. So you can take a look at it. A nice little makeshift fire side. Now we have a You have sand there? So you see, this is the area, guys. This is at the beach house. Show the lawn area here. We now there have a two uncle house. So you see, we outdoor full 100% outdoor right so this is it there guys this is the house here right so this is just we just driven spot so we leave in this fire side here permanent and just so we just cook with a little fire side food and then right guys so we're going to season up the meat we'll get back to you once season up knock up that basin a little bit then we're going to knock that pot right guys so stay tuned yeah. right guys so we're here one season the duck Right, so you know we regular season. Then. We all know where the season and change. See, the season the same way. Some stars on tropical. Now we are real breeze there. Eh? Now, guys, I believe this is probably about dead weight. About probably about seven, eight pound a duck. A very big duck. Right, so the stars on tropical. We added some salt. Some black pepper. I'm just blowing away everything right now. Right? Yeah, so that flavor and that sea breeze coming in. <laughs> right, you see right here where you can watch. See, watch. Right by the van here, see the little. Yeah, that's where you think I'll be hanging here. Right there. See right there. <laughs> so, the sea breeze coming in with the food, everything. <laughs> yeah, that, that. Kobo, seagull, everything I do. But we'll let you hope not then. We jump in all the tomatoes in this. Paint some green seasoning. We are the farmer and the man. We are the garlic here. Yeah. We are the 
car, man. Eh? I'm ready for a season. We blend home. Hi, guys. So, I know you're probably a little fed up seeing me in the kitchen. So, you see all of the front settings now. Do it outdoor style. Okay, let's mix up here now. And Ellie Carlin. So guys, so today, the menu we're doing today so far, we're doing a boil and fry provision, we're doing a curry duck, we're doing a oil down, and we're doing some paneer. We're doing four things to now, right? So four things on the menu now. This is enough season for now, I don't want to overpower the season here. This look real good so far. Alright, look at this guys. Very well seasoned, properly well seasoned. So this one look like a hot leaf on this part of the side. Right. So far, I'm going to see what our side, we're going to pop the oil on, right? <laughs> so guys, so we can't load on no heat. I can't tell you, low heat, medium heat, high heat. Let's see what blazing day. And that breeze we're in today, mm -hmm. they're going to have flat blaze a lot more. So we have to move out fast with this pot. Can't really stick much, right guys? Yeah, light up the sun one time. Let me start one time. So the only thing we do have here is water. Water inside. Though. So why if you go bring the drum of water for me, the big drum of water, eh? <laughs> what? Put some kerosene, right? Yeah, and then like water. Yeah, water, water bottle. Yeah. Okay, show some kerosene in this. Look at right here. Oh, you paid some. Look at that. All the way. So, I see a little makeshift thing with we um, we a little umbrella. umbrellas. I love this pipe yesterday. Yeah. I went something to stop the umbrella from coming down. Come down this about our foot. Our eighteen inches in the ground. The umbrella holding. This is one Mama having she had. Yeah, we gotta get ten. Yeah, we gotta get ten. So the ten go, ten go kind of full up here good. So this part hot in real good already. Real flamey. So. We're using a whole range of things. Oil. Hey guys, this is a big dump, so this is extra oil running. Run the light down behind that one. This one's looking nice. Uh, too bad. Just throw some onion, pimento, and the pepper. It's a raw pepper, but yours. Can I show you the menu here? You can have to shut up much. That's why I put the menu in the duck, right? Have enough, that's enough. I have to put too much seasoning. Too much seasoning in the curry and in the meat. Or too much curry in your curry that's better than the food also. Yeah? So it's fine, that's nice. It's looking up nice already, man. That is all okay. Right, so. Marshall, Marshall and Lydia. Right, I'm gonna send love to you. Right, so we do it on the fire side here. Right, I do this stone thing like he, yeah, you're fire side. I see you have some nice stone around him. Yeah, some kind of pebble thing, a pebble thing here. So, this is something like you want real nice. So, to build a bit of a little shed, but I don't want to build no shed because we already in and out of here, up and out with vehicle learning. So, probably we got a full long tent, that's a full long over the fire side. And them shaded, so I'm in the sun and them shaded, eh? Yeah, I'm not going to go down here, I keep coming down here, I'll push him up some more. Fireman.
Has he, has he kind of loaded? Added my curry one time. Probably about three full tablespoons of curry. You add another jira, ground jira, right? Add a jira taste. And then a little masala, not much, but a teaspoon. It's a nice, like, cook, take your time and cook, you know. Now we just cook curry, guys. You don't rush the curry. That small one is a light. Love. You have to chuck some heavy one and let's add the ketchup right there. The small one, go on the ketchup. Have you one there? Go ketchup fast. Is that one heavy one there? Yeah, that's heavy one. Yeah, that's heavy one. And no ketchup there. Alright, you know you put it in with Maggie now. I don't season with Maggie, right? And I want to say a warm welcome to all our new subscribers. Thank you for joining the Trini Out and Our family. Right? Trust me, you would never regret it. You would always learn something new. I know a lot of you could cook, but you might learn something, one or two. You might get a recipe. If you ain't learn something and you know the cooking, you might remember to cook something when we cooking and say, no, no, me need to let me cook it because we got a lot of people with our experience, you know, we get experience that people let's forget a lot of the meals that we cooking and showing them so they remember the cooking it now. Alright, guys, so we're gonna welcome here to the Trini Out and Our family. And thanks for subscribing. Really appreciate it. Come on guys, again on this video, if you, if you enjoyed this video, to the end you could hit the like button. I know a lot of you hit the like button before, right? Yeah. Alright, thanks for the water. Thanks for the water. She gave me big water. I see that already brown. Yes, it's pipe brown, not pipe brown water, eh? Let's pull it up because. Right, so sorry, curry looking here so far. Not looking too black. Nice color. Nice color, guys. Well, top of the line. Right, so you we cut the rim on it. What size? I think so you can add wood anyway. So, guys, we the design it for our side out of the front. We put the paint wood on that side and we cook it on this side. So the fireman could work on his own and we could work on his own on cooking and no, nobody not bugging each other. So we put the wood from that side and we cooking from this side. And we will be food with this wrong side. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> right, so we can already bring all close at us and all also. So that is a nice so far. It's nice here. Eh? My is real tip of time I cook my curry, eh, guys. Well, we have some, we have the provisions boiling inside. So we fry up the provision, we're doing the oil, we're doing everything outside here, the top. Everything we do in the paneer, we might do the paneer here. Well, once everything goes good. And you better good, so you know, we can't really the sofa. So let us take our two minutes again and let, let, let go down a little more, let, let the curry patch a little more inside here and then we go get it. Alright guys, so we're back here, I'm not lying here, it's probably about eight minutes till the curry is still cooking. So probably in all, this curry cooking average about 10 to 15 minutes, about 12 minutes of cooking because the curry alone, not the meat. Right, and I ain't, I ain't, I ain't throw the water yet for the curry. So it's how long I take out to cook my curry, guys, so you throw the water now. I cook in this curry just now. Right? The aroma from this curry started to smell real high, and then no, now the curry like it Lego all the, all the flavors. The they all are never one, 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 never this is our next house, it's not a rental house, it's not that thing, so... And the same people we live in the home and the same people will here. Right, so we are breaking no regulations, we are breaking no rules. Right, we are not by the beach, well we by the beach, but... 
We can't help that part, right guys? Yeah, we buy the beach but nothing in water. But the beach is in our property. Right, so you see what you see there guys? On the oil. Right? Now we look at some water. I don't throw the water, right? There's not the water yet on the basin. This is another thing. There's three or four people like this. Right? Four. Five. Six. Alright yeah. guys, you see how much Randall doing for the far side here? The Randall will have to make another lighter stove and I go there. So you guys waiting for the subscribers to ask him to last side. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you look at me real nice there. So curry duck guys. Curry duck. With oil long. If you got the oil long, you can have veggie oil long. Put that curry duck on top of it with the sauce. It's bomb. It's the bomb guys. Can't go wrong with this. Right? So, the reason I throw the, I don't throw this water, just to cut the meat. For the most of the meat alone to cook in the curry when it's at the bubbly tray in this water and let it bungee down right down right and then we would um then we would throw in the next water to finish it up for the finishing up that fire to pump to the oil on one time right so let us bubble a little bit here so now you see curry looking here guys curry looking top of the line what's this curry and this is raw meat inside it we didn't cook for the cooking with a whole duck Knock that pot. Right, let's see. Let me come out the pot here. Right? Watch out, piece of duck roast in here. Wait. What's going on there? Oh, God. Let's see that if I ask for a little food. So, you'll get the fire that food. Are we nice? The gazelle? Yeah. Oh, God, if it's the gazelle, I want to take out that, you know, guys. <laughs> right? So, we get the food out of the fire. The fire is clean. I clean right. the trail. So Randall clean the meat. I cut it up just now. Wifey and wifey and Lene cut up all the stuff on it. Right, so this morning we had a little late start because we walk at the whole yard. Yeah, wifey walk and Linda walk at the whole yard. And Randall. And Randall rake up all the grass and then when I will change. So we cut some of the log and then cut some of the log and then we change. So then so we started. Right guys, so we'll be back. Right guys, we back here. And it's on a bridge throwing out everything so. So they ain't getting no smoke here. We're gonna check this duck box. Hey, Ellie, no, no. Mm. Duck bubbling nice. Oh, it's smelling good. It's smelling real good, eh? Yeah, I'm hungry because <laughs> no me get a breakfast today, all yeah. I can't be real early, yeah. Alright, so let's see a little bit of the fresh water from the duck. Train it also now. Now guys, we don't want water here. Now we're gonna bring kettle from outside. From inside, I mean it will be all too much so. You go work with this. See how cook. Now when they cook it by the river, you just take the river water and cook, right? True. Yeah. Now we're going to cook the river water. Depends on what river you're in, eh? Oh, oh no. Right, so you're doing the oil. Wait, that'll come wrong in that side just now. You're doing the oil long here now? Ah, oh, that one's not in the sun. We finally get the oil long. I yeah. can barely see the pot through the sun. Look at my randal side. I'm too short for the. Come on, okay. Come on the side and see. Let me see. Now it's looking good, man. Yeah, well, I'll go be in your way. Turn up right there, Wales. Go ahead, now, man. Go ahead. Right, so but you want me to flush any pot, and nobody can say nothing. So we throw in. You throw the oil? Yeah. Uh -huh. Some onion. Cemento. Yeah, today we're working it out. Tomatoes. Now 
Guys, we're back here. Got a little alteration to make with the umbrella. Move just from the table. Just from the table to the sun, right? So you see, the, my tent, my tent getting dark right now. <laughs> and when I know, say my tent getting dark, and you know, I don't fear already. So we put the fire in the sun and we stay in the shade, shade now. Right? So you see everything from the oil. This is the oil long, everything, oil, everything mash up here nice now. Right? You really don't to forget to paint here guys Well the stars are tropical so I don't want to paint that's how paint when When you come back there I don't put the stars on tropical right? So I'll paint some stars on tropical here Yes my love Don't come close to the fire baby So you are don't looking already There's only one breath for the day not much we have three other breath food but we don't want to use too much. Are you check the duck here or the duck looking? Duck looking in order. The duck looking nice. Chat duck, my duck. What is this, guys? Is this still the first water, eh? Now just look. Still have water to go down still. Right, so this frying up here. Right, we're frying this on the looking at stick. Right, now let's watch the bottom of the pot now. Watch it clean. Now we're going to have oil alone in the now. And I'm frying up in everything. The, the bowl, the breath food, coat with everything. So what I'm going to do, I don't have to buy it outside. So I'm just adding some water. For now, after I'm going to add my coconut milk. Right? I'm just going to burn, right? Right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to mix my coconut milk now in a basin What's the basin with the oil down? Oh, this one, right? This is the breakfast oil, right? Yeah What do you need? Um, the hawk No, that, that hawk for bowling, so? Yeah. Oh, that hawk? What's like an eagle? Yes Yes, yes Right? So if I look at here in the background, probably how much birds over here So we add in a raw pepper so we can, This is the pepper you put from the tree we are going to sit duck. Right, we are in one to the oil dung. Small little one. Right. Yeah, guys, you can hear how much birds if you're hearing that. C 
seagull and all these things. Ready? Huh? I want to know what's that to box empty? That's fine, that's Nah, that's all. I feel like we're using the pack. There's going to be enough. There's only one breadfruit. Uh -huh. Yeah. Check out this. Nah, that's all good. 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 But that's my next thing I tell them that my next name on my mom, mom's side family. Everybody's called me Bonji. Is that a real name you guys? We have like four five, different five, names. Five, no, five, I have Bop. Yeah. It's called my Bop. Right. Ender. Indy Boy. Indy Boy is my home name. Yeah. Trouble. Bonji. It's called my Chunky. My mom and family is called yeah, yeah. my Chunky. My Chunky. Right? I six. I six. Yeah, that's it, Ender, Indy Boy, Buck, Chunky, Trouble, Bonji. A real name, a real name, guys, real game. Right, so this year. You forget the most important thing. What? Knock a pot. Knock me pot. And knock a pot, our next name, and all you see? <laughs> yeah. Yes, you see? Thanks, Randall, for reminding me. Yes, people, let's call them Knock me pot. Knock a pot. Anyway, you see me now? Knock a pot. You know that name kind of stick on me. Right, you cook coconut milk here. Now I made one little mistake, right? I suppose I had the dashing it bush. It have no mistakes in cooking. Right, correct. Right, so the dashing bush, I suppose to trade with the breadfruit. Right? I suppose to trade with the breadfruit while it was frying up. Right, this dashing bush. I think this might be too much dashing bush. That doesn't like too much dashing bush. Eh? <laughs> Right, so I show you the two ways you can do it. I know a lot of people do it like this. I just show you here, so people will say no, that is not the way. So I show you the two ways in one pot. Right, so you, you can you can't tell me I do it the wrong way. Right, so what I usually do, guys, like this now. Make sure this full up with enough water. And we're going to let this cook down. Now, remember, guys, this is not the original way to cook oil down. This is the training way we cook oil down. Right? I'll let you know that and all. Because I saw the Grenadian. Remember this is a this is a dish was from the Grenadian, a Grenadian dish, right? So them cook it. Them cook it. Um uh, one of our subscribers from Grenada asked me if I can make a Grenadian oil long. I will do that today. I will show you how we do that oil long a day. It's everything I call you do for Kalaloo. They put the meat, they put the bread food, like they put the dashing bush. You put pumpkin, carrots, all these things you put here. Or you supposed to have it a pumpkin for the Right? And you leave it and let it cook down, right down, right there. Not turn it in no pot. And after you just stick it out like a cake with all the meat and bread food, everything like that. That is the Grenadian, the original way to make the oil long, where the oil long stem from. But you know, we train these parallel to a state and we do it this way, right guys? So this is how this is how I like it. So I will try that, I will try that bread food oil long for a day. Oh, we have nobody much had eat anything, so if it comes out, then we'll... Right, so I do the whole leaf now. This is my trick to this, guys. I, I, I love to see how long like this. Right, so I'll show you, you can cut it up so. And all these, all these leaves was washed, eh? Right? So you just rest it on top? Rest it on top and let that boil. The leaf now will hold that temperature inside while it's boiling. Young dashi mushes preferably. You paint it upside down, you open it like here, push out the middle here, and you paint it like this. It's five, five you put. And five, right. So this is enough here. This is my way to cook oil down. Right guys, so if you had if you had to add the meat, you would have add the meat before add the tomatoes and the vegetables, like the, the seasoning, the onion, pimento, you would have add the meat first. If you want to stew your meat, or salt meat, any salt meat of your choice, or any meat of your choice, you can do it. Then add your vegetables, then add your bread food, then add your coconut milk, your dashing bush, and cover it down like this, right, guys? So, this here, this is the cover for the curry duck, right? This is the cover for the onion. So, you want to cover this? Let's see now what you duck. Oh, what's in that duck? That duck is the corner my this whole duck, time. Yeah. This is the. This is what you call. Curry, chat up, chat up, curry. You saw this frying in the oil, guys. You heat not too high on the oil in the spoon. So we still leaving that. Let, let, let that curry 
go into that dock. They fry into that dock. As the dock oil, everything leg in there. Everything coming out there from that dock, going into the dock, everything in a cycle inside that pot right now. Right? So when you ready to throw some water, and you can cook it with coconut milk if you want also, eh? You cook like you bring some pumpkin, eh? Right, so you throw this pumpkin. Yeah, pumpkin. You can throw now I I I don't put I don't put dumplings in my oil down, right? I know a lot of people just cook dumplings, um, oil down with dumplings. I don't put it in the oil long, I just I just like spread food. And especially when they are nice spread food, that's all they want. Are you hearing this? And that crackling, sizzling in. Right, so this is a farm dog. Yeah. That piece of the heart of it. I like all this duck. So that is so offer, you? Yeah. I bought this duck and master duck farm, right? Trust me, duck, on point. Uh -oh. When you clean the duck, no kind of fat come on the duck. The duck had no kind of fat. The duck not even soft like the farm duck. It tastes like a yard duck. I've been on this down line. The duck not soft, soft, soft. It's a nice duck too. But this dog, I bought three, uh, three for them. There's the first one I'm cooking. Alright, so we added some water here. You got all the hot water, right? Oh, no nice cold water. Is that hot water? Oh, yes, um, because you bring hot water. Not so much here. Yeah. Oh, I must have some of the hot water. So you have a kettle and cook one. Yeah, okay. Nice, yeah, thanks. Yeah, put on your box here. Right, now you can cook this in coconut milk if you want. Just cooking the duck, chuck, tuck, mud tuck. Now, there's only about four of us eating the duck. The reason why we cook the oily duck, because Mama making some dal pre. Tomorrow morning with curry, I'll want stew chicken. Mm. So, wherever duck remain, we'll eat with that to all the stew chicken. So, you show that recipe with the curry duck also. Ah, but the stew chicken, the, char, the curry, char, curry aloo, not chana, and the dal pre. Right, so she make it. Hmm. Right, guys. So we're gonna let this cover down here. Randall doing a fantastic job with the fire. Right? Right, guys. So we we'll come back when we're gonna check this. So this cooking, so the duck look. Right, guys. So we come inside the food cooking. We just wanna send some love, take a few minutes to send some love to some amazing people. Right? So we want to send some love to Asha Austin from London, Sean, Chantel Maharaj, Paul Mala, Patricia Charles from London, Joanna from New York, Saira Mohammed, Deidre Ramratan from Toronto, Rayana Navita, Kumar Bakas, Shanti Ramrup, Sally Maharaj, Rajeshri Baksh, GNN Music Production, Diane Gorbudu, Elena Has Haj Hajari, Barbara Samaru, Samdeo Sukdeo, Sharda Jones, Ahmed and Umida Mohammed from Saudi Arabia. So you see like we haven't we haven't subscribed and we are some all over guys. So we just want to thank you all so much for all these things. So that was it, we just send love to you all. It's just a token appreciation, well appreciation of course to give you back to you. Right? So Parvati Dipnarain. Sima Asim, Jason Bagwandas from Brampton, Jillian King, um, Pam Prasad, Sita Gulab, um, Golbans, yeah, Sita Golbans, Alicia Mohammed, and Patricia Young. We send all our love to you. Right? We send all our love to um, the people who comment and share the posts also on the social media, on Facebook, on Instagram. We also have a TikTok page, you can all like, check out the TikTok. We have the previews and the videos and things. So all is streaming out and about, right? That's streaming out and about everything. Instagram, TikTok and um, Facebook. Right guys, so we're going back to the cooking now and we'll share that goes that. Right guys, we're back here. We're gonna check the oil long. Have you saw the oil long looking at? 
Okay, we can reach up on top of the dashing sill of it, right? Yeah, it's smelling really good. Right? This breath room is so far because it's a full breath food. It's all good, you know. Look at how yellow it's looking, guys. Yellow breath food. See how this looks? Nice. Okay. So this is about 15 minutes of rest down here. Okay. Right. I'm excited to see the duck. Duck is my favorite. Okay, so this is duck and see. Yeah. Oh, God, I. Can't be tasted without me. Mm. Isn't good? Nice extra. Long water still, and we don't want to fix up this fire on this side, right? Fix up the fire for the dog. I fix up the fire for the boy. Long it bubbling nicely. I'll set this on fire now. No side of bubbly, no side of bubbly. Right, so let us bubble out it again here. Let's have to go down. Right, the breath will go finish fast. That's not like. Right, so we're going to mix up the spoon on them. And who was wondering with the palette on them? We didn't nail long any palette, we just stuck the four palettes up. We take, we can, I use a piece of pearl in here. I was a piece of aluminum from our slide and we do a whole one time for here. Let's build up about four inches. We put some sand in the bottom. But the pallet is plied over some hardboard, them old like old hardboard we had. To the bottom. We put the sand, about two inches of sand, two inches of gravel, and then we put this so that the sand wouldn't send down that heat to go down. To the wood and the gravel will stop it and all that. Right? So you go get a little heat but not much. So this go work real good. The pallet and it cool so far. We have no problem. So if you want to make a little makeshift fire outside or outside your house, take four pallets, go buy hardware, go somewhere and get four pallets, and build up a little fire side, now fire side, now you start. So I say we don't cook the fire side inside the pool here yeah, because the pool and the ashes and the smoke inside and it. So we will leave this here program, this real nice, we love this now. And, hi right, guys, so, probably not all better than Right? So, long time we had a fire side on that side here. Yeah. Yeah. Every move across everything on this side, we kind of come there and make the carport now and step to go upstairs. So everything gonna change every building. Yeah. Yeah. There's some room here outside where we like to come to go. When we side the house, we just inside the house. We at least can come out the house in the yard, lime, cook, you understand? So, real nice, real, real nice. Can't go wrong here. Like right, guys, I know we don't rent the house, that's just a personal house alone, private. So, everybody had their own room. I just want to stay here forever. You want to stay here forever, yeah. <laughs> They gonna change your clothes to come and start to do this. No, no, ask them here. Daddy, why are you changing? We're going home. I say, Yeah, we're going home. She said, Why? We don't want to go home. I say, We'll be able to nice share. She said, Yes, that's right. We will stay. <laughs> so we really stay until Monday. Hi, right, guys. So let's cook it up nice here. Then let's sing a little bit again. We'll come back again. Probably about 10 minutes. Finish up the oil alongside the provision. All right? So, hi, right, guys. We're back here. You don't look nice here, come down plenty now. We look at the curry duck. We look bubbling now. So you don't put any pepper, we go put this pepper in the pot. Hot oil and hot curry duck with a nice hot pepper. Not the pot. Not the pot, man. Nice. Top of the line, my favorite part of the dog is it. Yeah. Drinking a cup of coffee. I love good it. All right, can you check your oil long? No, too, then you are long since now, right? 
food soft now. I like my breadfruit small. I don't know why I do my, my style, my recipe for a long. I cut it small because I'm not really fancy the pieces of the breadfruit and I like the sauce. I don't mind it real thick. So that's what I like. Alright, so the breadfruit is looking nice now. You guys want to mash up this now? Not mash it up, but just cut it up a little pot like this, small pieces. And then mash it up now, guys. The sauce is getting real thick. Eh? So don't mind the long, if you, if you want to do it before the long water and all, I might have to add some water to this again, more because it might be too thick. I got this breadfruit yellow now. This is what we call yellow breadfruit. Yeah, that's how it's looking. That's like an egg yolk, the yellow yeah. color. Alright, so this is our veggie oil long, um, veggie oil long, no meat, no dumplings. That's how I make my oil long. All the oil long I make already, I never put oil long and dumplings in it. Right? I know some of you might say, nah, he mad, you have to put a dumpling, but your choice, what you want to do. This is my choice. I find dumplings is kind of. I'll suck the flavor out of the, the oil down. So I'll take it again already. I'm sure the dashi mush will in. You didn't see the big leaf. Everything mash up real nicely. Eh? Yeah. Every the big leaf you come across like this, you can just mash it up on the side of the pot. Hi. It'll mash up very easy. I find it's time for me to eat. i hungry. See? <laughs> Filet. Yeah, it is the same way all you see. So it's not, it's not them. It's, it's the food. The food smelling real tough for the line. Right? So we just gonna mash up all the rest of the pieces here. Doc looking good here. Yeah? Are you feeling tasty, Doc? Yeah. Come now. Mm -hmm. What piece of neck, your favorite piece? No, no. I eat that. She's had a sit on and eat her neck. I don't like skin. I don't like skin. I'm trying to get all the skin for you. Don't have none without. Okay. Is it not hot? Is it not hot? Yeah, okay. So party line there. Alright, so watch it, guys. Chat talk, mud talk, duck, curry duck. We leave in a little sauce. Take it with the boil down. So this done there. Well, let's turn up the gas in the arm, perfect? Turn up, turn up the gas. <laughs> right, so I can run like a carry that pot inside, bring it to cloth. And you can bring our next pot, let me probably. Yeah, the pot right in here, you have to the next pot. Right, so I'm going to do the paneer now. I got some already cooked. And then I'll do the paneer, um, the provision. And that's it, it's eating time, guys. Right, so later we might do a, we might do a corn soup. It's kind of late now, so you don't know if it's good here. With this, after we eat this, if, if it have enough food, you would make the corn soup. You'll make it tomorrow evening, probably. But we'll see how that goes. We're making that corn soup. Corn soup very light, no meat. No. That's a simple little corn soup, a nice little corn soup to eat. So I never did a corn soup for you guys, so I'll show you my recipe of corn soup. But I'll take this gear, watch. That's how you mash it up the pieces. And when this get cold, guys, you know who will know, this is going to get a lot more thickness to Watch this breadfruit eyes, watch this oil long. Top of the line. Hi right, guys, so we're going to pop the next pot in now. When this pot out, we'll get back here, we're going to do the curry paneer. So all those accents, so some of the vegan food we just make also. We just try to train a lot of vegan food. So the oil long is veggie, the, the, the paneer is veggie. Right, so I know we have a lot of vegan supporters. Especially um, Sarna Kirala. I remember the name of the back foot. I know you asked to see something veggie. You just comment, you know, she thanks. So, and I know a lot of other veggie um, who don't eat the meat. So, right, guys, so we'll get back to you. So you right, guys, Trini out and about here again. Back again. Right? So, the dog going inside. The oil don't go on inside, but wifey ain't going inside. Wifey's still with me. Right? So, we're going to do the oil down and we're going to do the paneer. I was planning to duck here, you know. Let me show you the paneer, right? You say you're going to do the oil, huh? 
provision. I saw along the south. Yeah. Oh God, I see sorry folks. I sorry guys. Yeah, yeah. My mistake. So you're doing normal curry for the paneer, right? And some oil for the provision here. Alright, so we put hot in there nice. Nice hot. Nice heat. Now the thing, the thing with veggie food. Let's see this part a little bit of extra onion, onion, extra pimento, all them thing. It's a nice flavor, right? There is a clean spoon. Right, so we add in some onions. We add in a piece of pepper. And pimento. Now guys, the same process like you're cooking chicken. Mix up the dish here. This is the boiler fry provision already for the review. Alright, so by the time this fry and I found it, we're trying to mato here one time, boiler fry provision, right? We'll be back here now. We're adding our curry, we're putting too much salad in this. So this is just our curry. Right? Just about to come up on here, just about to come up on here. A pack of small packs, she buys us to share alone. So we're putting much curry, there will be one tablespoon of curry. You want to get too black, black, and nice little patch in there. Right, so this is the paneer, right? So now I'm not doing this. See, so now we just use the all purpose. Because if you're fasting, vegetarians can eat this, it's not the chicken flavor one. Right? On this side, we add in some black pepper. Some salt, and some maggie. This is also a vegetarian meal, we don't do any salt fish in it. No meat at all, you boil and fry this. Some vegetables, tomatoes, and seasoned onion, pimento, all these things. Right. So I'll grind season on this. Right, now I'll grind season on this because she ain't season much. Which pot do you remind now? It's two pots. So the vegetarians who want to watch the paneer, the paneer is here with the curry. Right? So now water is this one here for the provision. You know you forget to bring the oil down? I didn't show earlier and I forget to put it on a, a, a bit for the other side but a piece of the golden ray. Oh. Right? And they bring the golden ray outside. Yeah, I'll put it on the other side. Right? Alright, so this curry looking nice here. I'm going to chunk curry now. Guys, so it's looking good here for this. It's looking good here for this. Any little yellow bowl. So I was wondering what is paneer? This is paneer, right? It is um, it is. Watch me. It is is a cheese, a kind of stiff cheese. It is cooked good, curry it. It's paneer in this wallet, right? So we're trying the paneer here. Guys, if you taste this, it's amazing. So you don't want this paneer to stick in the pot, eh? 
It's like a cheese, yeah. But it's not it's not that texture of cheese. Oh. Like ordinary cheddar cheese. Oh. Right, so we don't want it to stick, so this wouldn't like any water. So you put enough some water in there. Right? And it's just in order and all the time it's cold, you know. You make a little water. You don't want this to stick, right? Okay? Right? So you have some water in this. When I do the boil and fry, I make a thick face and then I put my provision to the wrap around the provision real good. Right, so I put a little water here and let it boil up real nice and everything mashed up in here. Right? Yeah. I say, don't want it to stick, right? Right, so we add in some water. From this? Yeah. yeah, then some coconut milk. Guys, this paneer must cook with coconut milk. Trust me, it's a hit with the coconut milk, right, guys? And it's easily favorite thing, Maggie. Right, and I sell a of coconut milk here. You use the same seasoning water, right? Just... Right, so you don't want this to stick, right? It's kind of sticking already. And, um, This must cook with coconut milk. Mm. What about it? Yeah. <laughs> I think we need to put it to the stove yet. We need to see our water. Plastic on the bottom, not good here. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. A lot of water here. Alright guys, so So this place you're looking at here This is what you're looking for So when you put that provision, it will be that dry dry thing Provision will be able to moisten the, um, the water and the sauce So guys, this is cooked like a text, yeah? something like shrimp it had that soft feeling, but kind of, um, kind of, kind of, kind of a little rubbery, kind of, not rubbery, but a slight little rubbery taste. So that's how funny it is. So you cook something like shrimp. It don't take long to cook also. All right, so it's always bubbling here now. So it's looking thick and nice here, right? So this is the provision we got, right, by Mr. Bash. There's some cassava. We have some sweet potatoes and some nice blue dashi in here. Nice ground food. Right, so I put this. A tomato will cover this real good. I'm going to try a piece of gold. And this one time I mix up. I'm going to put a gold in right to this. Guys, if you near your adding a little bit. Piece of gold ring, nothing much. That's a little flavor. Yes, golden ring this curry. Trust me, guys. So you sell fast. I don't call real nice and I think it up proper. Well, and so we dash in. You monk that cassava we just know what a nice and cause the dashing is. It's not the crunchy dashing, it's a nice buttery dashing. Cassava boil really nice. We eat a good piece of cassava. I got a good amount of cassava just so that's not raw. Well, boil like when from, from the boil. Right, so this is why I need the oil to boil and fry version a little saucy. So you see, not dry. It had a nice, moist look. This is what we're looking for, guys. Right, so this done here. So I'll boil and fry and mash it up some of the provisional smaller. Right, guys? I'll pick it out to Okay. Right. That's not 
Okay. 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 I cook it also, see the sheet of it with the oil long also. So I'll water the yard back. Linda, you have seasoned it with salt, everything, right? Yeah. Alright, so Linda seasoned it. But near your season, like chicken with salt, black pepper, and all these things. Sauce so, 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 and tropical? No, I don't have that. Now, when you see she missed the best thing, they might have a pile of sauce and tropical. Yeah. What do you see? I put all purple seasoned it. Oh, okay. But yeah, you say, can be that sauce on? That sauce on is the boss. I tell you, I try all this season already. Right, so it is just now. A little long water still. Right? Okay, Dad. 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 Yeah, I don't know how to get it. Alright, so watch out this guys. Oh, those one, everybody. Paneer. He's a bit soft. Like tofu. Yeah. Tofu. More soft inside. A bug. It's stingy. Alright, so let me show you. That's soft, right? Alright, it's not. It's not soft. I still full. Really nice guys. Fresh. Yeah, it's done. It's all fine. It's all in. Breakfast. Um, the stick in. I tell him man to go this spot, boy. The spot done. <laughs> <laughs> if it was so easy, eh? Who does so not? Only pawn shades and thing. So now kill him, enjoy. Yeah. Well, the sun is watching it now. Hey right? wow. guys, so. You see, you see what you're doing? You're doing this for my eh? Again, son, burn all the time. Okay? You and your whole family going to be safe for the Boy. See, this we're doing all for the subscribers, right? Yeah. There's so much you're doing for all the ones that are true as I cook. I tell them I tint already dark and the tint getting all darker. I was like G15, now I G like G20, G5 again. When Papa, when Papa want to show himself, but Papa so far from me, I can't even. We just seen the cup moving, we ain't seen ya. Yeah. They can't see him. They can't see you from there. You bring it for me? Was it ready, boy? No, he got this a good oil long. <laughs> right? And he blame it on the bread food. Yeah, he blame it on the bread food. <laughs> oh my god. The bread food didn't go then. Hi right, guys, so you want to eat? Taste in time. It's time. about time. Oh my Hi, guys. god. Hi right, guys. We are back here. Eating time. So let's see this. There's the bread food here. Take some paneer. Some curry duck. Boil and fry provision and a seven pot pepper. Alright well, guys, I well, you know something. You know I'm a sin. Say it now, give me two seconds to say. A glass of orange juice. Glass of orange juice, but I don't have that here, boy. <laughs> My bad. Right? So this is it. Was it paneer and coconut milk? Mm-hmm. And you look just like the dog here? Mm-hmm. Mm. So I feel left off. How <laughs> long? Baji. Hmm. Oh, I need to take that sauce. Sure. Yeah, boy. Yeah. 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 I need to see it. 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 I need to 
You see this? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, Hello, Papi. Don't see this guy in the pit yet. <laughs> boss. My brother in law. Get him, boss. Boss. He always walk in. He always walk in. <laughs> I need a husband. Alright, so let us see in the pit here. Yeah. Alright, guys. Then I put it. Real nice. paneer and oil down. Mm -hmm. Fast and yell. Wifey food. Wifey, they even talk. Let me try that paneer. Talk. Paneer. Ooh. Yeah, paneer on the machine. I love paneer. You don't have another pasta. I love paneer. Alright, guys, so I'm certain there's any sun. And let's see the sun hot outside. So you see what we're cooking? Hot sun. This is where we go in and after we don't eat. Mm -hmm. yeah. Water is clean, guys. The, the water is not green, it's the soup. The ground up there and the walls are full of green. So you can see how clean the water is. Crystal clean, guys. So this is what we're going to face after here. So we don't need digest anything. Hi, right, guys. So, food on point. What looks good, eh? Yeah. This one is real nice. Who is this? This here. Where is that? Yes. Where is that? My dog. No, this. My dog. My food. Let me tell you, she's my food. I don't eat this, and I I know eat it, and I really like it. I, I do even eat this. I just normally just take like the, um, the sauce or the oil on. Mm. Oh, yeah. 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 I'll show you yellow, like an egg yolk inside. Tell how yellow the breadfruit is. Mm -hmm. so you see this guy, what's this? Mm -hmm. What's the one you put inside? This is the paneer inside. Mm -hmm. Eat this. Take a dip in the pool. Everything, guys. Eat this. So, until again. Take a dip in the pool. Taste it. Right, so Mr. Bass, the city pepper, this is real good. Yeah. Enjoying it. Randall is the pepper man, eh? you love pepper. Sauce. I love raw pepper. He's a raw pepper man, I know. See, wait. And he just pour, watch how he just hold the pepper eat it. <laughs> he just also buy that piece of pepper <laughs> and take up a spoon of rice. That's how he just eat. I just dab up my pepper in my whole food, leave pepper like I eat. Pepper is no good again after. I know flavor. Right? So this is it for the fast side edition and the other that's simple. Right? Stay tuned. We have a lot more nice recipes and videos coming up for this weekend. So guys, we just want to say thank you all to our subscribers, our viewers. Right? If you enjoy this video again, hit the like button. And until the next edition again, don't forget the four words family, friends, food and fun, right guys? And until another edition of Trini Out and About. Not Not